Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 6th, December 6th. Sorry, I'm not trying to do some time warp there, but December 6th, 2020. <laughs> I am sorry about that one. Today we have Democratic Senator Mark Warren of Virginia. He had a few words to say about stimulus. In fact, here's his words for you for yourself. I'll be right back. In October, the White House reportedly offered Congress a $1.8 trillion deal. But Democratic leaders said no, they wanted a $2.2 trillion deal. Now you're looking at about half of what the White House offered, and we don't even know if you can get that passed. It seems as though the negotiating strategy of the Democratic leaders, Schumer and Pelosi, blew up in their face to the detriment of the American people. Well, I will say this, a number of my Republican colleagues dismissed those efforts by the president. Uh, right before the election because they thought he was trying to, in a sense, you know, buy a win before the election. Um, there's lots of what ifs, what we should have done, could have done. Uh, where we are right now in early December, the clock is ticking. We've got to make sure we pass legislation to make sure the government continues to be funded, a defense authorization bill. And I think uh, potentially the most critical component is $908 billion that will give targeted relief for the unemployed, for people in food insecurity, rental assistance, small businesses that have run out of their PPP funds. We put additional funds, particularly to those minority businesses that have been extraordinarily hard hit. Um, we put additional um, assistance in, finally, for broadband, which we all know is an economic necessity, additional dollars around the vaccine, the vaccine distribution, assistance for hospitals. I think we've got the categories and I think we've got the top line numbers done. We are working right now on language mm -hmm. so that we can have as early as tomorrow a piece of legislation. And uh, again, if there are folks on either end of the spectrum that says it's too much or they don't want to go forward, uh, we just got to push through. And I think common sense may this time win out. And as you noticed, or just as you heard, that the top lines of the stimulus proposal are already set. They're just going to work on the language of the stimulus proposal and hopefully they'll have that done by tomorrow. Then Jake asked Warner about the stimulus checks and liability protection. And in fact, you know what? Here's what he had to say. So I don't have to repeat it. I'll be right back. Well, as you know, the legislation you're working on as of now does not provide direct payments to Americans. And it does include some sort of liability protections for companies. Senator Bernie Sanders said because of that, he can't vote for it. He said, quote, this proposal provides 100% legal immunity to corporations whose irresponsibility has led to the deaths of hundreds of workers. It would continue to provide a get out of jail free card to companies that put the lives of their workers and customers at risk, unquote. What's your response to Senator Sanders? Well, my response is, you know, Senator Sanders respectfully is not involved in these negotiations and his characterization is just not accurate. Um, we are looking at trying to give some level of a timeout to allow um, states, if they want to put in place uh, standards. We have already, for example, in Virginia, put in COVID standards. That part of the discussion is vigorous and ongoing. And those who want the, the direct stimulus checks, that will be something that uh, a president-elect Biden will grapple with. We're looking at a four-month um, emergency relief package. And I would say to any uh, politician in either party, uh, they're going to go out and tell the tens of millions of unemployed workers who lose their unemployment check on the day after Christmas, people that will be kicked out of their apartments without rental assistance comes January 1st, the small businesses, the restaurants who have you know, been trying to struggle through as the weather gets colder, won't be able to do as much outside dining. It's somehow 908 billion dollars, 908 billion dollars, bigger than the whole TARP package is not enough for a four month emergency extension. Uh, I'd like to see somebody make that case to people who, if we don't act, will be put in harm's way. And as you heard, Warren said that the stimulus checks are basically up to Biden to take care of when he get, comes in the uh, president. Uh, basically, they're talking only about a small super, supercharged unemployment that will only help out a few people, not all the people that need the help, because as I've reiterated in most of my commentaries, that 
just because you're unemployed doesn't mean you qualify for unemployment. So their little small $300 unemployment boost that's supposed to be a bridge for four months isn't going to help out everybody. It's only going to help out a small amount of people. And there's going to be a lot of people out there suffering and starving and dying for them to get ready to pass another stimulus, possibly in January since we all know the um, House goes on vacation on Friday and then the Senate goes on vacation a few days after that, I believe on the on Monday or Tuesday of the following week. And there is also information from Republican Senator Bill Cassidy from Louisiana. He is one of the people that actually helped come up with this $908 billion stimulus proposal or relief package, as he calls it. He was on Fox News talking to Chris Waltz about the stimulus and weaseled his way out of asking the question. But in fact, you know, here's a clip of Bill Cassidy answering the question of how much support this bill has. So I'll be right back. Joining us now, Republican Senator Bill Cassidy, who's a doctor, as well as a member of the bipartisan group behind the plan. Senator, what are the chances that Congress will pass this compromise plan that your bipartisan group has come up with? And I guess more specifically, have you been, how assured are you that Senate Majority Leader McConnell will support it and that President Trump will sign it? President Trump has indicated that he would sign a $908 billion package. There's only one $908 billion package out there, that's ours. Leader McConnell has said he's not interested in making a point. He wants something which passes into law. It only can pass into law if it's bipartisan in the House and the Senate and ours is. Now, neither have said, oh, we'll sign your bill. That's fair. We have final language. Our final language, Chris, will probably come out early this week, earlier this week. Uh, and so then people can look at it and we can modify it as needed. But the indications I get, the pain of the American people is driving this. And I'm optimistic that both those leaders will come on board. And as you heard, um, Bill Cassidy said Trump will sign the bill into law, even a $908 billion bill. Uh, bill into law then cast years asked about stimulus checks and you're really not gonna like what he asked about this one so if you'll excuse me i'll be right back here's another clip let's do a lightning round quick questions quick answers and some of the specifics about the legislation some members of your group and also outside your group are calling for another round of twelve hundred dollar direct payments to every adult american is that go or no go for you um, this is a, let me nuance that. It may be a go, but it's not in this bill. This is not a stimulus bill. It is a relief bill. And it's something for the next three to four months to help those in greatest need. There may be a stimulus check, but that would be part of a different piece of legislation. And as you heard, Cassie said that the stimulus checks are a go, just not in this stimulus bill. And that this stimulus, this bill is a relief bill, not a stimulus bill. Well, as everyone knows that we only call them a stimulus check because that's just terminology. They actually are relief checks that should be included in a relief bill. But Cassie doesn't see it that way. And we'll be, well, he's wrong on the stimulus checks. I already covered that part. Because like I said, I mean, he did, they're just talking about a small supercharge unemployment for the people and no stimulus checks for the rest of the people. Well, as I pointed out earlier in this broadcast, that this, the unemployment will only help out a small amount of people, will not help out all the people that need the help. And uh, then he was asked about Biden saying there will be more stimulus in 2020 and that this bill would just be a down payment. In fact, you know what? Here's a clip on that one, too. So I should be back. Thank you. President-elect Biden says he supports this compromise that you and the others are offering as a, quote, down payment, but that he fully intends to come back after he's inaugurated in 2021 and ask for more. Take a look at what he said. Americans need help and they need it now. And they need more to come early next year. Do you agree that Washington will need to pass more stimulus, more relief in 2021 to help prop up the economy? 
hey, tell me what the vaccine uptake is. Tell me what the infection rate is. If the vaccine is being deployed, infection rates are falling, stores are reopening, small businesses are flourishing, we don't. But if the infection rate continues to climb, we may. So you have to kind of give me the variables upon which I'm deciding. I'm hoping that vaccine deployment begins to reopen things as infection rates fall. And on the COVID-19 front, we have had a total of 205,513 new cases with a grand total of 2,190 fatalities as of yesterday, or just Saturday. Um, this COVID is getting a lot worse, and as we can see, the Republicans aren't really willing to do anything to help the people out except for themselves because they're being greedy. And apparently some Democrats are also falling into the Republican line of being greedy as well. So I say we, we need to find a way to get people to represent us in there and not the almighty dollar is what they're actually trying to do. But this is, they like said, this is what I have to say. I mean, if you guys have anything you want to say in my comments, please free, be, uh, be welcome to do so. So I appreciate all your comments. And if you find my content very informative, please, and you basically want to hear more of my content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and let me know. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful Sunday, if you can. Remember to be safe, and that's how you, that's all they can be about is you've got to be safe because all, we're all in this together. Well, okay, not all of us. The politicians are in this because they don't care. But everyone else that's in this to get with us, we need to be strong because we'll get through this together. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.